45 year old Vernon Alexander Williams, senior, died last night under mysterious circumstances. Rumors abound that he may have become suicidal due to an ongoing domestic dispute. Williams's family, most of them residents of Pomona Village, collectively decided to refrain from comment. But ahead of that decision, our team managed to speak to his younger brother. He claimed not to know much, but said that Vernon will certainly be missed. My brother, he lost his life last night in a fire. When I reached here last night, the house was already down to ground. And that was it. All I could see was that it was his burned body on the ground. That's it. Couldn't do nothing else. He was a great mechanic, a refrigeration technician, a welder, electrical and other stuff and he was a loving brother to all of us and it's so sad but we're going to miss him. But whatever the circumstances of William's death, one thing's for sure, the fire department had a 12 mile delay in responding. That's because the fire station in Pomona has long been abandoned, leaving fire response teams to be forced to travel all the way from Dangriga. And this afternoon in Belize City, station supervisor Kenneth Mortis told us that the fire may not have been accidental. No, the position where Mr. Vernon's body was found was located off the bed on the floor, but literally in between two windows, which um, posed the question as to why Mr. Vernon didn't try to make an attempt to climb out the window, seeing that the window wasn't burglar barred. We, we have information from our counterparts in Dangriga who stated that just a couple of weeks ago, Mr. Vernon was experiencing, or he was talking about depression. The state of depression has hit him so hard that my counterpart even went on to say that uh, Mr. Vernon even went on to talk about suicidal attempts. That information which revealed itself today versus the findings that he was in the remains of this fire could might have well been a means and ways to take himself out of the situation. We did not find anything to support a malicious act from the outside of the building, whereby I'm talking about accelerants used. We did not find any of that from the outside. So we are focusing or narrowing our investigations onto the inside as to determine whether it might have been a fire that he may have purposely set. And there is also some questions about whether his car was independently torched. Yes, um, the car, a Honda Civic, was also destroyed along with the, the said structure. Um, at this moment, we, we had our team out on the scene to try and ascertain exactly where the fire started or how the fire started. Unfortunately, um, we, we were lacking sufficient evidence to determine an exact cause of the fire. Hence until further notice or until the team has exhausted all, all angles, this fire remains as undetermined. An undetermined fire and an undetermined death, whether just an accident or the result of a tortured and broken heart. A final answer may come from Williams's post-mortem. Sherry's Halsall, 7 News.